my Vito TP4B loadout and am I switching to this Milwaukee's low profile tool bag bomb. So maintenance guy here, jack of all trades, master of none. Um, this is my loadout. It's kind of my go-to service call bag. Um, again, I'm a maintenance guy, so it really could be anything. Um, I do do a lot of AC units um, and just a plethora of other stuff. So um, we'll go through the bag and see what can change. So again, here's my meter. It's an ideal um, plant meter. Kind of does everything I need to do. We'll do um, microfarads for capacitance testing, which is definitely something I use. Uh, small pry bar, um, some insulated screwdrivers. The Weehaws I really like. Um, I got one more somewhere. Uh, just uh, old big Phillips. Um, I do have the 1132 uh, with the deep thing for some ballast this is just a weird size that that i need um, klein 11 and 1 um, klein 7 and 1 with this which is this is awesome uh, it's the flip bit system um, it does flip back but then you can take this off and put this whole thing in your uh, impact and you've got almost all sizes which it does have the 11 30 seconds so i may take that other one out but it does have the deep thread so um, painter's tool always comes in handy um, klein crimpers do use these quite a bit i uh, did get the milwaukee um, two sizes of adjustable wrench i actually use this one the most uh, here's another insulated screwdriver. I do have the right angle attachment. This definitely comes in handy. I have another one that's the Milwaukee. Um, they're about the same. Uh, Non-contact voltage tester uh, comes in handy. I do have the Knipex uh, wire strippers plier combo. Um, I like them. Got some good cutters in there. Um, this is another one that uh, this thing probably will replace because uh, this thing's awful heavy and bulky. Um, it's the multi bit by Klein and it has all different sizes. This will go a little bit bigger than that other one. Um, I mean, it's got all the way up to 9 sixteenths and it goes down to quarter inch depending on which bit you flip and so it's, it's handy but i think i can do without this because of this um, some pair of needle nose um, i do use these flexible extensions sometimes screws are right up against something and i just can't get my impact in there um, i've got knipex small pliers and the Milwaukee version um, depends on what I'm doing if I've got a bolt I do like like the rounded part of that if I need something flatter I'll use these but these are a little six inch size I think um, come in super handy wires just diagonal wire cutters I do like these because then it gives you some leverage it's bent a little bit um, by design small file um, got a fuse puller, a couple other jumpers in here somewhere. See, so this is a little Weeha uh, Torx bit set and square drive and Phillips. Actually, because it was down the bottom, I kind of forget it's there. Um, have my electrical lockout here. You have some long versions of these. These I don't really use anymore, so they may come out. The stubby multi um, bit comes in handy sometimes. 
small screwdriver. I do usually carry the Klein um, with the flip so that uh, for thermostats and stuff, but sometimes this little tiny one comes in handy. I actually don't normally carry this here because when I put this in my toolbox, it, it won't fit, so I have to take it off anyway. So I usually put this on my belt. Um, on the outside here, I, I did modify this. So this is just a magnetic um, spark spin. When you're taking AC units apart, it's easy to just throw these screws there. You can stick it onto the side of the cabinet and it works really well. Um, I ended up having to drill this just to attach it to the outside of the bag. Um, and that's one of the problems I'm coming. I'm kind of overfilling this bag. And then here I have usually two of these. Um, this one has a UEI thermometer and a bunch of uh, zip screws. And then just one of these UEIs. I do have another one tucked in here in case I need to test. Yeah, AC units kind of just stays in there. It's kind of nice. Um, I do have a cold chisel. And up in here, this comes in pretty handy. So this is a magnetic um, latch holder for when you take an AC unit apart and you need to diagnose it. This these two really strong magnets will stick to the box and this will hold the switch open or closed. And then these are the rest of my jumpers in here. I do have a little circuit breaker for testing uh, boards or the 24 volt um, low voltage. Uh, this is great for finding shorts. You can just put this in place of the fuse and this will just trip instead of burning fuse after fuse after fuse. And then just a couple extra bits. Oh, I do have the Klein um, little spinner. Um, this thing comes in handy sometimes. When you don't really have the room, you can put a bit in there and just it ratchets. And it's, it's kind of nice. Um, and then obviously some tape over here. So um, that's it. That's my Vito TP4B, which I have really liked. I really like the um, organization in here. It's just a little too small. I don't want to go up too big in size uh, because bags are heavy. A couple things I want to add. Um, so I kind of want to add a headlamp. I want to get rid of these two bags and just have this as an assortment of um, tip screws. Uh, it's got fuses in it, got some terminals, uh, just a few wire nuts that I can use once I get into the building and I can replenish when I get back to my truck. Um, also, Kind of want to add this security bit set. Uh, we do have quite a few security bits that we have to open often and a thermometer for uh, a lot of our buildings are really hit tall ceilings and the registers are up there. And so we'll be able to, to check the temperature, the supply air temperature. These are really handy. And this is just a Ames from Harbor Freight. So let's clear this off. Let's get the other bag and I'll kind of share with you why I'm thinking about changing. Okay, here we go with the Milwaukee low profile backpack. The reason I wanted to do this is it's, I've had backpacks in the past, tool backpacks, and they're just so heavy. Um, I really watched as many videos as I could on this backpack, but there weren't very many and it just looked smaller. Once I got it, I had to order it online because no one had it here locally. It's actually bigger than I was hoping. Um, it's gonna have more than enough room. My worry is there's just not enough organization that a lot of my stuff won't 
fit tightly in here and it'll be loose or it'll just be buried in the bottom and it'll get lost. So we're just gonna have to kind of see. It does have a, a pocket here, which is handy for some little smaller things like wire jumpers and um, stuff like that. It does have a computer slot back here. Uh, sometimes I do have to take my computer up into attics so that I can control our HVAC system. And just for diagnosing purposes, it's handy to be able to do that while you're in the attic. So that may come in handy. I can also slide it in here because it's just a surface. So it's pre uh, pretty, pretty small. Um, there's another pocket here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just load this out off camera and we'll come back and see what my thoughts are. Okay, loaded out. First impressions, plenty of room. Um, it's, I like that part. Able to get everything that I talked about in here. Um, got my meter on the side, my death stick. Uh, inside, let's see, I have nothing in this pocket. Everything else is inside. Um, here, this holds all my test leads and um, little tiny things like my bit sets, perfectly fine. I was even able to get this in there, which I've never been able to get this in my bag. Um, I always just grab it on my truck and hook it on my belt or in my pocket and carry it that way. Um, I do think that carrying this on my back will be better for climbing up ladders, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is the part I don't like is this organization. So everything's kind of floppy. Um, this is all floppy around in here. Um, it fits everything, but it's not tight. Like even this kind of kind of sloppy in here. Um, but again, it fits everything I need. And this really gets me through 90% of my work. So I want to be able to still carry all this. And then if I have to, I can go back to my truck. But this will allow me to add actually a, a few more items. If I have some small parts or something, I can just throw them in here rather than um, carrying them in my spare hand with the, that other bag. So I'm going to give this a try for a month or so and see how I like it. I'm, I'm really thinking I'm not going to like this and it's too sloppy. The other thing that I just realized is I usually leave my TP4B in my truck it's got an open top where i can just see everything grab one or two tools if i need it if i don't need to take the whole bag in whereas this is enclosed and so you'd have to unzip it in the truck and this is floppy other thing i don't like is it really doesn't stand up and watch it just fall so if it's open at all it just doesn't fall maybe if i zip it up a little bit but then i lose that visual access that I'm looking at. I have to kind of pull it open. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I'll keep you posted.